Hello and welcome to the Cinema 4D Quick Tips. Sometimes you may want to fracture a glass object. But once you fracture an object and apply a glass material to it, you will always see all of the fractured pieces because of the transparency and its refraction. In this quick tip I will show you how to fracture a glass object so that the fractured pieces only appear when they actually break. In this scene we see a pre-baked fracturing simulation with a glass material on the Voronoi fracture object. Select the Voronoi fracture object, go to the selections tab and activate inside faces and outside faces in order to create selection tags for them. Now copy the glass material and rename both to outside and inside. Assign them to the Voronoi Fracture object and restrict them to the respective polygon selection by dragging and dropping the selection tag into the selection field of the texture tag. Now that we have created the basic setup with two materials assigned to the inside and outside polygons of the glass object, we can adjust the inside material. What we know is that fragments lie perfectly next to each other as long as they are in their initial position. This changes as soon as they are moved by the simulation. So if we had a shader that is capable of detecting adjacent surfaces, we could use it as a mask for the inside faces. Guess what? There is such a shader. It's the ambient occlusion shader. Open the inside glass material, activate the alpha channel and add an ambient occlusion shader to it. Click on its name to access its attributes. Move the black knot of the gradient to the right and lower the maximum ray length parameter. Don't set it too low. Adjusting this parameter is a bit of trial and error because the object's size plays a big role in finding the right setting. Done! Glass pieces now only appear in those areas where the pane actually shatters. One more thing that you have to know about this technique is that ambient occlusion is a sample-based effect. So the higher the sample count, the better the quality of the effect. If it's set too low, it won't work. If you use the physical renderer, these parameters will be grayed out because of the unified sampling. In this case, you have to adjust them in the render settings. Thanks for watching. For more information on Cinema 4D or other Maxon products, please visit cineversity.com or maxon.net.